Happy Stampers, this is Kathleen. Welcome to another video from my YouTube channel and blog. Today I wanted to show you this really pretty card that I made using the new Beautiful Day stamp set from Stampin' Up. The sentiment I got from the watercolor wing set, which has been around for quite a while, but I just really liked the sentiment a lot, so I went ahead and used it. So today I'm going to show you how to use our new Stampin' Blends. These are awesome. This is our answer. Stampin' Up's answer to Copic markers. If you've ever been considering Copic markers and are just thoroughly confused about them and put off by the price, then this is the absolute solution. They're easy to use in color just so beautifully. And I'm going to teach you how to do that. For the um, all the measurements for everything that I did, you will find on the coordinating blog post. So don't worry about missing them. And that blog post, it will, or the the information will be listed right below the video and you'll be able to click on it and it'll take you to the post and you'll find all the information you need. So let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is on a piece of Whisper White cardstock, we're going to go ahead and we're going to stamp our beautiful, the butterfly from the Beautiful Day stamp. And I already stamped it and um, I'm in order to save just a little bit time because we're going to spend a lot of time actually talking about working with the markers. So let me come in a little bit closer so that you can see what we're doing. Now you can go about this a couple of ways. Um, you can start with the light color or you can start with the dark. It's totally up to you. And I'm going to show you the results that you would get either way. So let's go ahead and start with the dark color. Now all of the Stampin' Blends come in um, you can buy them individually or you can buy them in a group and there's a light and a dark color for each color combination. And the ones that I'm using right now are the Bermuda Bay. And so I've just applied the dark ink and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, I'm going to blend where that dark ink would meet this lighter ink. I'm not applying a lot of pressure to the paper, I'm just applying the ink. Now I'm going to add a little bit more of the dark because I want that corner to just have a little more depth to it. And you can already see how well everything has blended and you get this nice tone of light to dark. So I will repeat that in the middle section. I can see I've already put the dark down. I'm going to blend across it where the seam would be with my lighter color. And then I'm going to do the same thing in this upper segment. So it's just blending in the color and you will see how when the two colors meet and they blend you get this wonderful smooth blend. No lines. That's the best part about working in this is it just there's no lines. Everything it does is just beautifully blended and if initially you're starting to see just a really sharp contrast between the two. Just give it a moment, let the alcohol blend in, do its work, and everything will come through just really beautifully. So you can just see this takes no time at all. It's just gentle, easy, wonderful coloring and you get this nice, nice blend. So you can see how wonderfully everything blends in together. So now on this side I'm going to start with the light as opposed to what I did on the other. So we're just going to do the light color all the way down in each segment. And now I'm going to go back and add my darker color. Now what I will do is go back again with my light and I'm going to just blend where the two meet and then blend it out. Now what happens with this look is you get a little bit by putting the light down and then having to blend everything. You can see you don't get quite this nice contrast that you do. So I'm going to go in and add some more dark and try to deepen that up a little bit. Okay, so it just becomes your preference of which look you like and it's so easy to apply the inks. You just will be amazed at how easy they are to work with. 
Now I've left the caps off for just a short time when I'm working on it, but if you're switching from color to color, lots of different colors, I wouldn't recommend that you take the caps off and leave them on or off for the entire time. So now we're going to work with the Rich Razzleberry and we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the dark down first and then we're going to add the light blending where those two meet and then out to the edge and we're on this one I'm going to add the light and then I'm going to add my dark for the contrast or to add a, just a little more depth to it and then you will go back and you're going to be blending where the two meet so they will combine and give you a more medium tone so that's all there is to it isn't that just lovely this is such an easy technique to do it's such an easy medium to work with I know that you can do this um, even if you're kind of afraid of coloring and don't think that you have any talent for doing this you really do these blends do all the work for you and so you can see here how everything is blended and then you get the shine because after it was all done I went over everything with the Wink Estella marker and gave it um, some little to give it some glitter and glimmer and make it really shine and pop off of the card so what I've done to save time is I've previously stamped one and I've cut it out so we can go ahead and start to assemble our card so we're going to take our Tranquil Tide cardstock and our Whisper White and I'm going to go ahead and make sure I'm using the right one no yes okay there's very little on this edge that is showing all right that is the right one so we'll go ahead and we'll apply our glue I hope you're enjoying this video. If you are, please give it a thumbs up and I hope you'll take the time to go out to my blog and see, read all of the a little helpful hints and all of the information that I have out for you. And while you're there, it would be great if you would subscribe to my blog also. So now what I've done on this one, I ran it through the embossing folder with a new Petal Pears embossing folder and this is the one that has the flowers on it okay so I ran it through the piece of Tranquil Tide cardstock this is also a great time of year if you're interested in any of these products this is during our Stampin' Up! celebration sales period where for every 50 or 100 dollars that you spend you're able to go into the celebration brochure and pick out an item so it's a great way to get a gift with purchase that's really fun and beautiful so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take my butterfly and i'm going to just bend the wings a little bit to give them some life and to make it just not look quite so flat in the middle and then these will bend up a little bit and that will really help them just that little bit now you also you want to see you on see on the back you can see how much this has bled through when I've used the blends on this whisper white cardstock that is exactly the way it's supposed to be you know that you're getting really good coverage and that you're blending and working with the alcohol markers properly when you get this through the other side of your god of your cardstock so it's important that you always have something down below when you're doing your coloring so that it won't go through to your desktop. Okay, so now we're going to take our sentiment and I die cut this piece of Whisper White using the new Petals or More. Petals and More dies has this great um, frame for sentiments and that's 
where I got it from. So we're going to take our Memento ink and we're going to go ahead and stamp up our stamp. Now one thing that you also want to know about when you're going to be working on the moment, or I mean on with the Stampin' Blends, you want to make sure that you're using the correct kind of ink and that is Memento. Memento ink is a dye base ink which means it is not, oh that went a little crooked. Okay, well, I guess we'll do it again. Um, as I was saying, the Memento ink is a dye based ink and so if you use water with it, it will bleed. But because you're using alcohol markers with a water-based pad, the, the um, stamped image won't bleed and you'll get, it will work perfectly for them. You want to let it sit and dry just a little bit after you um, have stamped onto your paper to make sure that if you're using a lighter ink that it isn't going to just run initially. But always use Memento ink when you're using your stamping blends. So let's go ahead and see if we can do this again. Hopefully my head is not getting in the way. Oh, much better. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to put that um, onto the card with some dimensionals. One other thing that is really nice about this time period during the celebration is that if you are interested in becoming a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you have more than $99 in product that you want to purchase, you are able to spend or to go ahead and pick $125 worth of merchandise out of the catalog. Um, the new um, occasions catalog or our annual catalog plus you're able to tip, pick two additional stamp sets of any stamp sets of your choice so you can have easily have a two hundred dollars worth of product that you're getting for free and I mean for ninety nine dollars plus no shipping so it's a really really good deal and if you've ever contemplated signing up this is the time of year to do it as you get so many good deals. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we'll put our butterfly down. And all I did was put the uh, glue in the center or the body and then I'm just going to reinforce the little curve to the wings. Now I wanted the center of this to look shiny so I used my two-way glue or my fine tip glue pen and all I'm doing is applying a little bit of it to the center of the body. This acts like our old crystal effects that we used to sell and it just does a great job of giving you a real shine to an area, a specific area of your uh, card or of your stamped image. So let's go ahead and we'll put this back together. Now I also wanted to show you this other card that I did um, in case you just were really intimidated by the blends. I did this same card and you can see how different the butterfly looks. This one was colored using our watercolor pencils and so it's a completely different medium and it just gives you a completely different look. So it's just an option and you'll see more information about that on my blog also. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. I really hope that you've learned something about the blends and that you'll go ahead and give this card a try. Till the next time, bye.